So I see triangle, triangles straight away. Pythagoras theorem or trigo. Pythagoras theorem, you know lah. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Trigo. So if you have difficulty remembering, quickly write down. Dua, ha, and so. Memorizing this is useless unless you know how to use it. Okay, which means you need to identify opposite adjacent hypotenuse with respect to a particular angle. So first, to calculate angle ADB, ADB. This is the angle that I want to find out. I can see that I have two sides. These two sides, they have names. They are first the hypotenuse as well as this is our adjacent. So quickly go back to your tour castle. Which of these three has H and A at the same time? H and A, cosine. Straight away, I know cosine already. So right now your equation, cosine, the format is the trigger ratio followed by angle. You have to write angle. In this case, I don't know the angle, but it has a name. The name is A, B, B. Cosine angle equals to, this is the format, it is always the same. Trigo ratio followed by angle, followed by equal sign, followed by fraction, something over something. Not difficult to find out what over what because you have already identified you're using cosine. A, H, A for adjacent. Adjacent came first, we put that on top, 5.4, divided by 7.7. .7. So now you have written the trigo equation. Next up is to get rid of that cosine. I just want the angle. How do you get rid of the cosine? Take note that this is not cosine multiplied by ADBR. It is not multiplication. It is a function. So to remove that cosine, we have to do something called inverse. So our angle ADB is actually cosine inverse, which you can find in your calculator by pressing the yellow button first. So press the yellow button, press cosine, and write down the fraction, the same fraction. Not difficult, just make sure you know the format. And get the answer, 5.4 divided by 7.7, 45.4. .7, Four six eight. Is it fifty four? So this is in degrees. When it is in degrees, run off to one decimal place. Not three as ever. All your life, we've been telling you if it's not exact, put it as three as ever. However, for this for degrees, you leave it to one dp. One dp. All right. Next one. The length of BC. So in our diagram, BC lies in the other right angle triangle. This right angle triangle. BC is our longest side. So regardless of which angle you're talking about, BC is going to be our hypotenuse already. Okay, now looking at the angle, okay, this is our reference angle. Why is it a reference angle? Because it is the only angle. Next, we have 5.4 meters. 5.4 meters with respect to 36 degrees is our opposite side. Okay, compare this with part A where we said our BD okay, hang on, huh? my one note just crashed. and now everything is gone. I think we've got one last page. Yes, one last question. I think 
think we may not have time to finish the last question. So, so I'm going to give you your work for today. So, for today's work. So bring it back tomorrow, I will finish the last question.